Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Science with Stein. My name is Dr. Stanley Stein from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, and I am here today to talk to you about an urgent epidemic facing the American people. Folks don't have enough pictures. This has been a major problem for years, and virtually no progress has been made to combat it. Joining me today to discuss this issue is an award-winning middle school teacher from Detroit, Michigan. Mr. George Minaz. Please welcome Mr. George Minaz to the show. Welcome to the show, Mr. Minaz. Glad to be here. I'm excited to talk about this issue and how it's been affecting people all over the world. It truly needs to be stopped. Over the past few months, Mr. Minaz and I have been conducting a study into the issue. And the results will stun you. During the previous school year, I noticed that my students were performing unusually poorly. After carrying out interviews with each of my students, I realized that they were having a great deal of trouble absorbing the information. After reviewing the data, I realized that their grades began to fall around the time that I got a new shipment of textbooks. Therefore, it could be assumed my students were unable to digest the information in the textbooks. I took a closer look at the textbooks and made a shocking realization. These books contain almost no pictures. Mr. Minaz contacted me regarding his problem, and our experiment began. We found the only textbook on the market that contained at least 15 pictures on each page and ordered a batch for the students. What happened next was astonishing. Within three weeks, the students' performances skyrocketed. The average test score went up by 250%. And not only did academic performance go up, but so did overall student happiness. Not a single page of the new textbooks was ruined due to excessive tear stains. Upon further examination of the effects of pictureless books, I found some intriguing facts. Approximately 23.9% of the world's adult population is illiterate. Would that statistic be the same if all books contained pictures? The human brain can process the entirety of an image in 13 milliseconds, whereas it takes two and a half minutes to read the average page of text. I'm a scientist. I know what I'm talking about. You can't deny the truth. Books should have more pictures. Thank you for watching this program and taking this journey with us. We hope you learned a lot and had fun doing it. Tune in next time for the effects of ukuleles on the human brain. And remember, if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the precipitant. <laughs> bye bye. This message has been approved by Scientists for a Better America. We do science. Do you?